Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to show you how to upload files to RPFS. RPFS is one of the most popular decentralized storage and hosting platforms out there. It is the home to NFT metadata for a bunch of NFT projects. And in fact, you can also upload web applications to RPFS and have them hosted in this decentralized hosting platform. It's an incredibly powerful tool and it is at the core of what makes Web3 Web3. Third web storage is the easiest way by far to upload any files to RPFS. And the best part about third web storage is that you can upload the files using the third web CLI in your terminal, or you can upload the files using the third web storage SDK in code. And we're going to show you both of these in this video. Currently, 71.4% of people who watch our web three videos have not subscribed to the channel. So if you've taken away any value from what we're doing, can I ask just one small favor? Hit that subscribe button and join the 29%. Each week we are going to be airdropping a very special and rare third web NFT to 10 subscribers. So let's jump into it, let's get started. As you can see, I'm here in VS Code and I've got this folder called RPFS and in it I've got a bunch of stars. I've got a blue star, green star, purple, red and yellow. We're going to upload these files to RPFS and we're going to start by doing it using the terminal and the third web CLI. So head over to your terminal and type in npx third web at latest upload. And now you have to provide the path to the file. Now this path is going to look different for each person, each project. And so in my case, this is what it looks like, but you have to find what, what is correct for where your assets, where your images, where your files that you want to upload are. But for me, this is what I need, IPFS forward slash blue dash star dot png hit enter and let third web pin this file to rpfs and then provide us with the uri and a url to view this image that we've uploaded and so you can see here in the terminal the output that third web has given us is this rpfs uri and also the gateway link which can be used to view the file that we uploaded so let's copy this head over to chrome paste it in and you can see that this is the file that we uploaded. Really simple, really easy. We uploaded one file, no problem. Now, if you want to upload a bunch of files, so if you want to upload multiple files at the same time, you've got two options. The one option is to specify each file, and that would look something like this. npx third web at latest upload. And then from here, start to specify all the files that you want to upload. So in my case, again, you're providing the path and then the next path, et cetera, et cetera. So in my case, what it would look like is RPFS forward slash green star, and then the same for the next file, RPFS, purple, et cetera, et cetera. So I could upload multiple files like that. But for me, for now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Instead, I'm going to just upload the entire folder. I'm just going to upload my RPFS folder, which is this folder over here. And so again, what you have to do is provide the path to the folder. In my case, really simple, I just have to put in RPFS. That is where my folder is. I'm going to hit enter and let Third Web do exactly what it did before with a single image. It is going to pin this data to RPFS and then provide us, as you can see over here, with the URI and a URL to view the items or the item that we have uploaded. You can copy that, open up a new tab paste it in there, and you can see that this looks slightly different to what we saw before, because instead of just being one file, this is a folder with these five images in it. So we can view each of these images as we please. And so you can see that all the pictures which were here on my local machine were uploaded in this folder to RPFS. And this is by far the easiest way to upload any file to RPFS. You can simply use the third web CLI to upload straight to RPFS. Let's say now we want to do this, but we want to do it in code. We want to code a way to upload files to RPFS. To demonstrate this, we have to create a Next.js project, and you've got a few options for how you want to create a Next.js project. I created it using the third web CLI as well, so that's npx third web at latest create dash dash app. And that will take you through a little flow to create a Next.js project. I'm not going to go through that right now. But if you don't already have a project set up, like if you are starting out from scratch, then you can use that. And that is the easiest way to get any Web3 application going. Use the third web CLI to do that. 
I've already done that to create this Next.js project, which is called Upload to IPFS. And in it, you can see that it's got the classic structure of a Next.js project. It's a TypeScript project, so it's got a tsconfig in there, package.json. And what's really important to note is that inside this package.json, you can see the dependencies that we've already got installed. We've already got installed the third web React SDK. We've already got installed the third web SDK, which is for backend development. And we've already got installed the third web storage SDK. So if you are starting out from scratch, then you or you don't have these installed already, you must install each of these packages, really important, and obviously can't work without it. The second really important thing that you need to do by way of setup, which if you use the third web CLI, to create your Next.js project. This will already have been done for you. But if you didn't use the third web CLI or you're integrating this into a new project, then head over to your pages folder and inside the app.tsx, you need to wrap your app with the third web provider. The third web provider gives us the context to allow all of the third web magic throughout our application. And it is really important. You must also provide the desired chain ID and you can see a very nice little pattern here. We get the chain ID from the third web SDK and we create a variable to hold the chain ID that we want. And then we can select any chain ID. So we can select from this massive list here that third web supports. I always just default to the Mumbai testnet unless I'm specifically working on something for a mainnet. And that we pass into here as the desired chain ID prop. And that will tell our application and tell third web that that is the network that we are interacting with. So with those two things out of the way, the correct dependencies installed and the third web provider wrapping your application, we are ready to move on to the actual coding components of this. So let's close that, close these pictures um, in the Next.js project in the folder that's called pages. Let's create a new folder called API. So if you don't already have it there, create it. And then a new file, and let's call that upload ts and inside this file we are going to start by importing third web storage third web storage and this is going to be from at third web dash dev forward slash storage and we also need to import fs from fs this is of course the node.js file system and this will enable us to read the picture that we want to upload once we've got those two imports out of the way, we can create a variable called storage. And this is set equal to an instance of the third web SDK. So we have to instantiate the third web SDK. So new third web storage, open close brackets. And now that we've got that, we can go ahead and actually write our function. So inside curly brackets, we want to create an, ins an asynchronous function. And inside the function, we're going to have a variable. This is going to be called upload. This is going to hold the response from the upload that we're going to do. So const upload is equal to await storage dot upload. And then we have to pass into the other file that we want. So to do that, we're going to use the fs read file sync. And here we have to pass the path to the file. So again, the path is going to look different for each person, each project. For me, this is what it looks like, RPFS. And in there, I want to upload the green star.png. And once we've done that, then we want to log out the URL, the gateway URL, where we can see this image. So console.log, and we're going to call this the upload URL. And we're going to pass in this variable. Third web storage comes with a really nice resolve schema method, which takes in the result from an upload and just spits out the URL that is the part that we actually want for our purposes here. And the final step is just add these brackets at the end so that the function gets called. And then we're ready to go. And we're ready to invoke this function and see if we can upload this file to uh, RPFS. So head over to your terminal, inside your terminal, CD into the um, Next.js project. So in my case, I just have to CD into upload to RPFS. And once I'm in there, I can use npx ts-node. And we're going to go into the pages folder. We have to pass in the path to this function. So pages, API, and then upload 
.ts, hit enter to run it, and give it a second or two, and you can see that it logs out here the URL, which is was returned from third web storage, and we can take that over to Chrome, paste it in, and this is the file that we've uploaded to RPFS. So you can see how really simple it is in the back end to upload a file to RPFS. It's really cool, really easy, really convenient. Let's do the same in the front end. Head over to the pages folder again. Let's first actually close the upload.ts. In the pages folder, you can open up index.tx. And the first thing that we're going to do here is just get this running locally, right? So let's start with yarn dev and let's open up the local host in Chrome over here. And you can see that this is the third web welcome page that has got a very nice connect wallet button here. And this of course is here because I created this project using the third web CLI. So it comes built in with this connect wallet button, which is really, really nice, but none of this is really necessary for us for now. So what we're going to do in index.tsx is we're going to delete everything that we don't need, which is everything. We're going to remove everything except for the div that is going to be empty. And once we've got that, we're going to just clean up our imports a little bit. We're going to leave the third web react SDK there, even though we're not using the connect wallet component that's imported there. We're going to leave it there because we're going to need it in a second. And we're going to import the use state react hook. So use state from react and from third web, we're going to import the use storage, use storage upload hook. Okay, and now that we've got that, we can create the state variables that we'll need for this project. What we're effectively going to do is we're going to have two components. We're going to have an input component that will take in a file, and then we're going to have a button component, which will say upload. And when you click on the button, we want to upload to RPFS whatever file you have inputted over there. So just to give you some context as to what we're building towards, that's basically what it's going to be. We're going to create a state variable, const file, and then set file is and is going to be equal to use state, and we're using the use state hook. And we can then also use the upload function from the use storage upload um, hook, which we imported from third web. So in here, we're going to say const, and then we're going to deconstruct this mutation and set it equal to the use storage and we only need to open and close brackets, nothing else. And then we've got these basic pieces which we're going to use to build our functionality. The final step before we can actually work with our button and our input elements over there is that we need an upload to RPFS function. So const upload to RPFS, RPFS, and this is going to be an asynchronous function, takes in no arguments, and inside the function, we need a variable to hold the upload URL. So const upload URL. And this is going to be set equal to await upload, which is what we got from the third web hook that we imported. And inside here, we're going to pass in two options. The data is going to be the file, which will be stored in our state variable file. And this must be in an array. And the second thing is going to be the options which we're going to set two options. The first is the upload with gateway URL, and this we want to set to true. And the second is the upload without directory, and this we also want set to true. And once we've got that, we can then log out this upload URL. So down here, we're going to go console.log, upload URL, and let's just give that a string at the beginning so that we know what it is upload URL. Okay, and then we're ready to go. We've got all the pieces that we need to actually give our button and our input elements some functionality. We imported the necessary things from React and from third web. We created a state variable to hold the file. We got the upload method from all the mutation from third web. And then we created this upload to RPFS function to actually do the upload to RPFS. And now in the input, we need to give it a type of file and we need to give it an on change 
a file or what we're doing is when a file is uploaded or when a file is submitted here or put into this input, we want it to firstly check that we want to make sure that there actually is e.target.files. And then if there is e.target.files, we want to set file equal to whatever file was actually selected and uploaded over there. So that's our input done. And now in our button, we want to say that when it gets clicked on, we want to call the upload to RPFS function. And now we're ready to rock and roll. Head over to the local host. Let's refresh the page. And you can see that we've still, we got the black background from what we had before and it doesn't look very nice, but our functionality is here. We've got choose file, which will allow us to select a file to upload. And then we've got the upload button, which we can click on in a second. Let's just open up our um, console over here, developer tools, and then into our console so that we can see what's happening. We're going to select a file. Let's pick this one. Let's click on upload and we can watch the upload starting to happen in our console. And here we go. This is the URL. We can copy that URL. That's the upload URL, paste it in over there. And this is the file that we uploaded to RPFS from our React.js front end. So this was really, really simple. And this is how you can use the third web SDK to upload your files to RPFS. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something from the video, please like the video, subscribe to the Third Web YouTube channel. We're putting out incredible content. If you have any questions, any topics that you'd love for us to cover, comment below and also join the Third Web Discord. The whole Third Web team is there and we're waiting for you. Come join us in Discord. We can't wait to meet you. Thanks for watching.